Shalom, shalom, all my prayers. I'm now your Basham Mashak Yahushah, Basham Kakadash. Shalom to the blood one, Baptism Covenant. And today I have Luke chapter 21, verse 18. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. How is that possible if if all these uh, fucking idiots on the internet is telling you, cut your damn head, shave your head, bald brother? You gotta have a uh, waves, uh, you gotta cut your hair down to a, a Julius Caesar. Paul said long hair is a shame. He's talking about according to the Romans. That's why you read down and say we don't have no custom, man. Yahweh said, there shall not an hair of your head perish. How is that possible if you tell a brother to cut their goddamn hair off? Shalom. I'll pray. This is Proverbs 8. Verse 33 Hear instruction And be wise And refuse it not If you can't take instruction You're in the way of death That's disobedience That's rebellion Rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft I'm going to start by giving all the praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashum. Yahushai by Shema Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations. Until all four elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, I just wanted to chime in on, you know, this uh, reprobate. All right. You know, there's a lot of guys that's moving to their own, according to their own heart, their own opinion, their own emotions. You know, they clearly cannot hearken unto instruction. And you just heard this dude's excuse for why he want to continue with those Shiva locks, which is clearly not biblical. It's heathenistic. It's dirty. You know, but uh, Jake is going to find an excuse according to his will, you know, as uh, multiple brothers and pointed out. All right. I mean, just simply, you know, Jake just want to do what he wants to do and try to make excuses and justifications. That's not how it worked, homie. All right. If you was humble and you was sincere, you cut them damn things off and just hearken unto the instruction. All right. Luke 21 and 18 has nothing to do with growing your hair all the way out. It has zero to do with that. All the Lord was expressing was that when that time comes, when the time of trouble comes, you won't perish. The Lord will keep you in his hands. You will be safe. All right. Not a not a, a a hair will come off your head. That's basically what he's saying. He's not saying uh, I will let you grow your hair. Don't worry about it. You can keep your long hair. No, he, that's not what he said. And then he exaggerated and put extras on it when he said that, you know, brothers are saying, you know, to, to, to you know, rock a, a, a Caesar or, or, you know, shave your hair bald. Come on, bro. Jay got to put, he, he got to come with the sensationalism because he's emotional. And you have that kind of attachment to your own hair. You, you, if, if you got that kind of <laughs> emotional attachment for something like that, you damn sure are not going to make it. You ain't going to make it, man. We're in a time of war. And Jake is concerned about his long hair. And it's crucial because, <clears throat> you know, I left a, uh, a precept in the, uh, the elders comment board where a particular man, he fell by his hair. He had long hair. All right. And um, even though, you know, it made him stick out, you know. People was like, damn, you know, look, look he, got, he got some long, beautiful hair. But that hair became a snare to him. And it cost him his life. And who was that individual I'm talking about? The son of the king. King David. All right. Let me get that real quick. This is a... Uh, Second Samuel 18 
And let's read it. 2 Samuel 18, verse 1. And David numbered the people that were with him and set captains of thousands and captains of hundreds over them. And David sent forth a third part of the people under the hand of Joab and a third part under the hand of Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, Joab's brother, and a third part under the hand of Ittai, the Gittite. And the king said unto the people, I will surely go forth with you myself also. And this is when, you know, King David's son, Absalom, was coming against him. All right, which, uh, you know, that was part of the punishment of, uh, you know, King David after he had committed those transgressions, you know, commit adultery. And you know, that was, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> that was one of the ones right there, man, you know. But he got the short, he got those short mercies. All right. But he caught hell for that, man. When originally, according to the law, you're supposed to be put to death. So this is what was going on. His own son was trying to, you know, take his place. It says, uh, but the people answered, thou shalt not go forth. For if we flee away, they will not care for us. Neither if half of us die, they will care. It's like they will they care for us. But now art thou art worth 10,000 of 10,000 of us Therefore now if it Is better that thou succor Us out of the city And the king said unto them Which seem as you best I will do And the king stood by the gate And all the people came out by hundreds And by thousands And the king commanded Joab and Abishai And Atei this saying Deal gently for my sake with the young man Even with Absalom And all the people heard when the king gave all the captains charge concerning Absalom. So this was an instruction that the king gave to his uh his captains over his uh, armies, right? So the people went out into the field against Israel, and the battle was in the wood of Ephraim, where the people of Israel were slain before the servants of David, and there was there a great slaughter that day of twenty thousand men, because I mean, you had men who turned on king david and was siding with his son it says for the battle was there scattered over the face of all the country and the wood devoured more people that day than the sword de devoured and absalom met the servants of david and absalom rode upon a mule and the mule went under the thick buffs of a great oak and his head Got like you, his head caught hold of the oak, and he was taken up between the heaven and the earth, and the mule that was under him went away. Now, how did his hair get? How, how did his head get caught up under the bush of this oak tree? That's because the nigga hair was ridiculously long, and it got caught. While he was riding upon a mule, ran into ran up under the tree, hair got hair got uh, caught in between the, the you know the, the the bush of the tree, right the branch and the leaves, and the mule kept going, it kept running, so it left him hanging by his hair. Now you are and you know you're in route, all right, because war is taking place. And that just happens to you while, while you're in the midst of war. Absalom had a he had a he he was vain, and his vanity had caught up to him. These dudes, they're they're heavy into vanity, and you know vanity is is, is never uh, productive. It, it never does you any good. It does you no profit at all. That's why. Uh, Vain or vanity it means Empty Emptiness Alright It does not gain anything for you Look what it did for Absalom Alright and I believe there is a chapter that shows you How uh How long his hair is Let me actually read this right here I went to uh, cross references 
So I guess one of the scholars put this information in. It says, riding for, uh, furiously under the thick buffs of a great oak, which hung low and had never been cropped, either the twisted branches or some low forked buff of the tree caught him by the neck or as something by the loops into which his long hair had been pinned. That's, that, that's the, the, the correct uh, understanding. His hair was was too long, which had been so much his pride and was now justly made a halter for him. You see that? That hair was, was his pride. And that sounds like somebody we know. <laughs> he, he, and, he's, and he's supposed to be a chief priest. It says, and was, and was now justly made a halter for him. He, he may have hung so low from the buff in consequence of the length of his hair that he could not use his hands to help himself or so entangled that his hands were bound so that the more he struggled, the more he was embarrassed. This set him up as a fair mark of the servants of David. And although David would have spared his rebellious son, if his orders had been executed, yet he could not turn the sword of divine justice. So it was according to the Mosai's will. The Mosai had that happen. All right, that was part. That was it. Was justice? You see, even though who did it was in the wrong for not following instruction, but the Lord had it happen anyway. Okay, the Lord executed judgment on Absalom. The dude was wicked. It was his time, man. He was doing too much. And executing the just, righteous sentence of death on this traitorous son. See that? So that's what happened, man. Oh, let me see uh, what scriptures they got. Second Samuel 14. Let me let me get this. And why you think Apostle Paul said nature, do not nature uh, teach you? And this was nature teaching um, uh, Absalom. What you have long hair for, bro? What, you know, how would it profit you in a, in a scenario situation like that when you are on a run or you fleeing or you at war? You know, when you get into a, a fight. 2 Samuel uh, 14 and 26, it says, And when he pulled his head, I'll start at uh, 25, it says, But in all Israel there was none to be so much praised as Absalom for his beauty. From the sole of his foot even to the crown of his head, there was no blemish in him. And when he pulled his head, for it was at every year's end that he pulled it, you know, meaning he would, he would groom it, you know, I guess at the end of every year, because the hair was heavy on him, therefore he pulled it. He weighed the hair of his head at 200 shekels after the king's weight. Come on, man, that's ridiculous. You know? And even though he was more than likely getting praised for it, because, you know, like especially these women today, they love seeing niggas with hair. They, that's why niggas grow it like that. You know, niggas are wear designs and, you know, get it you know braided it to a certain length the women want to play in it they want to rub their fingers through it but that ain't a man's glory that's that's your glory that's a woman's glory everything is upside down women you know they they like men to halfway look a feminine have a, a feminine look to them you know do to have a you know them, them them little uh baby edges like like a woman when a woman put like little uh jam on the on the edges and shit get that little baby hair men men do the same shit like come on man it's all vanity and it's childish as well you got to grow up and become a man in this thing jank don't want to do that 
because he didn't he didn't have to as long as he was in Babylon. He was raised by his mother. You know, these women giving the approval. Like, come on, man. But, you know, he was he was getting praised for it. So, of course, that developed pride in him. So he kept his hair super long, but then it, end, it didn't end too well for him. All right. Because my man ended up getting hung under an oak tree by his damn hair. You see that? And then what happened? Joab, you know, even though it was the most size will, Joab went against the instruction of the king and he caught him. Got caught slipping right there. Verse 10, and a certain man saw it and told Joe, it's like a Joab, and said, Behold, I saw Absalom hanged on in, in an oak. And Joab said unto the man that told him, And behold, thou sawest him, and why didst thou not smite him here to the ground? And I would have given thee ten shekels of silver in a, in a girdle. And the man said unto Joab, Though I should receive a thousand shekels of silver in mine hand, yet would I not put forth my hand against the king's son? So he this man was like, I'm not about to go against the instruction of the king. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sell out and, and, and put the, the, the king's son to death, you know, for, for, for any kind of money. Even though that was, a, that was some good money right there. For in our hearing, the king charged thee and Abishai and Ittai, saying, Beware that none touch the young man Absalom. Otherwise, I should have wrought falsehood against mine own life. For there is no matter hid from the king and thou thyself wouldest have set thyself against me all right then said joab i may not tarry thus with thee i'm not going to wait with you and he took three darts in his hand and thrust them through the heart of absalom while he was yet alive in the midst of the oak and the ten young men that bear his joab's armor compassed about and smote absalom and slew him so you see how it ended. It ended tragically for him, man. All right. So why be vain? He probably would have gotten away if he didn't have that damn hair. You see? He probably wouldn't have got caught up under that, that uh, branch. But his vanity was a snare to him. All right. So it's best to just hearken unto instruction. And then dudes try to act like when Apostle Paul said these things, he said it as if he was just giving an opinion. Like he was trying to, uh, you know, uh, uh, be tyrannical over the church. No, man. This this was order. The Mosai was was dealing with uh, Apostle Paul through Yahushai. Yahushai uh, taught uh, uh, Paul. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 11. And in one, it says, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances. All right. What are, what are ordinances as I deliver them unto you? And we went through this before. And brother should know this, man. The word is a uh, para, para, do, para uh, dasis. Yeah, para dasis. And it says, down here it says, a giving over which is done by word of mouth or in writing, i.e. tradition by instruction, narrative, precept. Objectively, that is which is delivered the substance of a teaching of the body of precepts, especially ritual, which in the opinion of the later Jews were orally delivered by Moses and orally transmitted in unbroken succession to subsequent generations, which precepts, both illustrating and expanding the written law, as they did were to be obeyed with equal reverence. You see? So these are orders, man. And Jake hate order. They despise dominion. They want to, you know, do what the hell they want to do. Because they want to satisfy their own belly, man. Their God is their belly. They mind earthly things, man. Not the things of the spirit. All right? Dudes don't want to honor the fact that you know, uh, when they cover their head, you know, you're 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 disgracing uh, your head, which our head is Yahweh Shai. All right. You, you, you know, Jake, make excuses 
to not uh, leave their head uncovered when they probably sign out there in the camps. Jake just refused uh, instruction. When you do that, you're in the way of death, man. You know? And then it says down here, verse uh, 14, it says, Do if not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. All right. So that, that's a, that's a, the glory of a woman. Why, why do you want to glory in that? Because you see your favorite rappers with long hair and they get all the women and all that. Come on, man. You see, you know, these dudes with these, you know, long dreads and shit. You know, the, the, the little Waynes and the, uh, you know, the, 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 the Fetty Wops and. You know, when when that when when what's the name uh was popping, Waka Flocka, you know, all these chicks wanna hop on dudes with, with dreads, you know, two chains, all these different dudes, man. All right, it says, but if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of the most high. So it's not permitted in the churches. If you're gonna be a part of uh the body of Yahweh Shai, the tabernacle of David, um, there we we <laughs> we have a standard, we have a rule. Okay? If you can't walk according to that, then uh you're not a part of this. Simply put. All right. And and uh I think uh when you go to the the 14th chapter. Let me see. Uh, let me jump down. Yeah, let me read this one real quick before I find what I'm looking for. First Corinthians 14, 20 says, Brethren, be not children in understanding, how be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. All right, like, Twisting Luke um, uh, 21 and 18 about when the Lord said, not a hair of your head will perish. You simply are being childish as hell if you think that that's saying that he's going to allow you to keep your long fucking hair. You're being super childish, man. That's very immature. You know damn well that ain't what that mean. All right. That, uh, come on, man. Stop it. All right. Even Paul said in, in uh, Corinthians, you know, he used to think like a child. He understood as a child. Let me let me get that, man. First Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, when I was a babe, when I was on a low level, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, meaning I was very immature, I had a base level understanding. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You know, the, the more I uh, read, the more I uh, uh, grew, the more I matured and understood. All right. You got to grow, man. You got to you got to that's how you, you know, come into full age man is by simply growing and not getting all emotional jake is too damn emotional for the truth man so jake they try to twist and make all type of twist and, and and everything just to you know suit their own benefit man because of their emotional attachments and that's going to get a lot of jake killed man simply you you're gonna you the most i's gonna kill you because you don't want to grow the hell up man so going back now let me jump down real quick
Here it is. 1 Corinthians 14 and uh, 37 it says, If any man think himself to be a prophet or a spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So if you're going to rebel against these instructions, against you know these words, you're ultimately rebelling against the Most High because he's speaking what the Lord commanded him to speak. These are all instructions of the Lord. So if you don't want to do that, then hey, you you're not in you definitely not in good standing. Why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not that that I say? That's what Yahweh Shai said. So yeah, man. <laughs> You know, this dude was he he was he was out of line for this one, man. But he's you know, he's a he's another, you know, demon, you know, he was another, you know, scoffer. All right, and, and the most side is gonna destroy this guy, man. All right. Don't be like that. So I'm gonna end off with that one called Loyal Bashmiao Shah Shalom.